Hi friends, welcome to Git series. So uh, as of now, you are very good to create a new file, a modified and how you need to commit, how you need to see the loggers, you know, right? If in your real time in IT industry, people used to go for some branching strategy. Okay, you, if you are working on something uh, like uh, if you see just uh, some live example I'm giving, okay, just simple example. Suppose Amazon website is available now. Okay, this whole code is available inside the Git. Okay, assume that Git is available. This is master code. If you go for your assume that this is for some Amazon code, I have a master branch. Okay, on every project, on top of the master, we have multiple branches will be there like a release branch, develop branch. Why? Why this many branches means? This Amazon.com now it is a stable. There is no, nothing is happening. Suppose some other developer came and he added something inside the master branch. Suppose that task is not working. Then what will happen? Your whole code will be a gone, right? Customers will be a gone. Login itself is not working due to the change. There is a revenue will be a decrease right am i right so in the terms of the business perspective also same thing what will happen is let me show a small okay so this is our master branch okay on top of the master if you want to develop any new feature okay new feature means amazon if you open this is a login page future amazon interested to uh, sign in with google Google he need to integrate with Amazon then what will happen so he will create one new branch okay on top of the master one develop branch will be there this branch will be used by the all the developers okay on top of the master on top of the develop they will create the new feature okay now I want to integrate some security feature for the login he will create one security branch and on top of the develop some other developer want to create payment integration branch payment will be done suppose this branch is tested 100% successful then this branch will be merged to the master so this is the way you need to work each and every task you should work on the branch once this is successful given by the QA team then you need to integrate this branch into the master okay assume that you are you created one more branch suppose google plus login authentication you are doing okay by that time what happened in the production some bug is happen but you are inside this branch then what you will do okay you need to fix on top of the master then nothing how you need to create you need to go and check out the master then do the hot fix then commit to the master okay then whole code you can make it pull your master code inside your develop also so this is the way you need to create the branches inside your git repository okay so how you need to create the develop branch then in the develop branch how you need to create the security we'll see everything now in this video i hope you guys are clear why we are learning the branching learning is very easy that you need to know based on the requirement based on the uses you need to apply these all things okay now what i will do this is my repository on top of the master i will create one develop branch i will push here okay so what i will do so uh, right now how you need to create a develop branch this is one way okay so branch you need to give a develop 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 now your branch is created if you go for status command sorry git branch if you use i have a master branch i have a feature branch i have a develop branch now it is pointing to feature branch now if you want to point out to the develop branch how you need to go means you need to use git checkout develop branch okay now if you see it is pointing to the develop branch what i will do inside the develop branch i want to create one directory payment directory okay inside the payment directory uh, i want to create one file suppose login dot java 
okay now you are in develop branch you are started the payment feature okay if you want to see the git status let me go back clear my screen git status command now inside your develop branch there is a payment feature is available now okay if you if you want to add how you, you know already how you need to git add dot fuse all things will be added now okay now if you want to commit how you need to commit commit hyphen m i am saying payment feature added okay now just push so you need to use this command set upstream origin develop copy and paste it now it is asking my username i am providing here password okay now you push it to your uh, develop branch if you see if you uh, git branch if you go develop branch if you do the ls command there is a folder is available payment right go and check here refresh it here are you able to see any payment folder here i am in the master branch right as per the ppt from the master i created a develop from the develop i created one folder if you click here click on the develop now you can see the payment feature here login.java so in this way you can create multiple branches on top of the develop you need to do your features so what i will do this is another feature here also my that is not available i hope you guys are clear here how you need to create the branches and after that one way you create it now we can short uh, which commands we use now uh, let me clear the screen okay i mean which branch now git branch okay you are in develop branch okay what i will do i will go and check out master if you want to go for the master git check out your branch name okay now you are in master branch if you do the ls command the payment folder won't be there why because that particular folder is available that payment feature inside your develop on top of the master you want to create a bug fix okay uh, i want to change some c.txt some name i want to change you are doing a bug fix how you need to do how you need to create a new branch you are used git branch branch name uh, and if you see now it is pointing to the master there is a shortcut you need to use git checkout hyphen b and you, you want to create one bug fix branch if you immediately enter go and check your branch see this is a shortcut previously we used git branch command then git checkout now you are pointing to the another now those two commands like uh, short form is git checkout hyphen b your branch name then now you can push uh, git just if you do git push it is saying go on fix uh, copy and paste it here now it will be it is asking my username and my password now i am pushing to my uh, master i mean uh, for the github repository you are pushing now if you go and check here just go and check here go for the master are you able to see any branch here nothing we committed right go and check see bug fix so the bug fix is updated with your master if you want to do any bug fix you can do here i hope you guys are clear about the branching strategy if you are good this branching strategy then we need to use some interesting command stash command we'll see in the next tutorial thank you guys